Did you know that roughly 60% of the web traffic is just images? And yet, most.NET developers never optimize beyond the basic compression. While some developers are busy writing complex caching layers or CDN configs, you can solve the root cause of that problem with two simple format changes. So here's what happened. Recently, I rebuilt my website. I have a video about that here. And as always, by the end of a major thing like this, I will try to get some data how good it was. So I run Lighthouse, you can check the core web vitals, and there, there was a problem, a performance problem. My first instinct was basically my classic training <laughs> working. I thought I need a CDN, okay? I need other caching strategies. But then I realized something embarrassing. I was still serving JPEGs and PNGs like in 2015 and I should have known better, for sure. There's new formats that have been around for a few years, but here's one thing. I'm a backend developer. I've been obsessed about APIs, testing, performance, scalability, containers, all of that, and I completely missed these two new formats. So here's what I've discovered. JPEGs, PNGs, they are not optimal anymore, even if you compress them as I used to do. Now you have two new formats, WebP and AVIF. WebP gives you about 30% file reduction when compared to a JPEG. However, AVIF is where things get amazing. The reduction on some small files might be 50% of more, what is huge. And all of that with the same visual quality. So think about that. Just with compression, you have half of the bandwidth, half of the storage, and half of the transfer time with the same user experience. However, there's a catch, the browser support. So I had to travel back to the past, to those days where I needed to be concerned about browser support. And the truth is that some of the browsers still don't support, especially AVIF. The good news is that major browsers nowadays uh, in the latest versions are already supporting it. But we know what happened. Most users don't update their software as often as we would like. So most developers on a scenario like this would think, okay, if, if there's a possibility that someone is not using this, that means that I can't use this. But that is the problem. We can think like that. Why? Because you don't need to choose. HTML has solved that for you. You have the HTML picture element that can do the magic for you, and you don't need to think too much about it. And I hear you, you are asking how can you do it, and it's quite simple. You just need this small set of lines to do the magic. With this picture element, and inside you have the several images that you can render, basically what will happen is that the browser will pick the first format it supports. So if your browser supports AVIF, if it's capable of rendering AVIF, they will get the smallest file. If it doesn't, it will go to the next one. So it falls back into WebP. So now let's say that your client, your user is living in the past. So it's using an old browser. They can get JPEG or PNG as you wish. Everyone will get the best available user experience for their case. And this is beautiful. It's minimalism in action. You don't try to do complex server-side logic. You don't bring complex CDN rules. You don't think too much on the rendering of the application. You just let the browser do the things it was designed to do. Once I apply this, I could see, I could observe a payload drop by 40% on average. The Lighthouse scores improved as well. And the best part is that I didn't need to touch my infrastructure or any render logic. I just needed to bring those elements in place. So here's the lesson. Sometimes the biggest wins come from stepping outside of our comfort zone. Being a .NET developer, mainly focused on the backend, I tried to, to solve the issue by using the tools that I had on my toolbox. But in fact, I was just bringing complexity in place. By digging deeper, I realized that there's a simpler way of achieving this, of giving a good experience, a good result, improving my scores without needing to touch my infrastructure, bring another piece into my infrastructure, bringing complexity into the rules. I didn't need to do any of that. And I could solve that issue in just a couple of minutes. So my .NET developer mindset was leading me to a server-side optimization, was leading me to improve my infrastructure. That was not the thing that I needed. And this way, the implementation was easy. Most build tools and CDNs can generate these type of formats for you automatically. 
even some libraries you can bring in place to generate those. So don't make my mistake. Don't let your tunnel vision on the things that you know influence your decisions like this. So now it's time for you to take action. Take a moment, just five minutes of your day, open the web page of the project that you are working on and check the formats that are being served. If you are seeing a JPEG or a PNG, there's an opportunity. And in a couple of minutes, you can now convert those PNGs or JPEGs into a VIF and WebP, have that picture element and have that fall back in place. Your users will thank you. And please, once you do it, leave a comment here, or also, I would love to hear from you if you were aware of these two formats, or if it was just me ignoring the world and living alone in the world where these things don't, don't exist. So I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment. I hope this was helpful. It's the type of simple tricks that I like to apply to my applications to quickly improve. So I hope you find this interesting as well. In the meanwhile, you might want to watch this video right here, and I will see you in the next one.